It was a cold, dark, and stormy night. Well, on the set of the school play anyways, it was actually pretty nice out today. We had been working on the case of Vinny Vision for three weeks now, and we still hadn't found him. Vinny was the type of kid who was always getting in and out of trouble. His latest prank, though, was by far his worst. He and his friend, Larry the Liar, cut the power at the school play and made off with Princess Carla's diamond necklace and the pumpkin show queen's jade tiara. We had some leads on where Larry the Liar may be hiding the necklace, but three weeks later, we still hadn't found Vinny or the pumpkin show queen's jade tiara. Vicky and I have been working together to solve every mystery that happens in this school since we were kids. Mateo, we are kids. Whatever. I was beginning to lose hope that we'd ever find Vinny. Until I heard those two voices. We were in the cafeteria, eating my favorite meal, the French toast sticks, obviously, when I heard a couple of students talking. They were talking over a goblet of milk. Clearly, this was a prop from the school play. Anyway, I overheard them say they had seen a strange kid walking the halls, complaining about his sight. It sounded just like Vinny Vision. But when I turned around to ask them more questions, they were already gone. Our first lead, busted. We had to find those two people. But I had only seen the sides of their faces against the bright light, and I couldn't tell who they were. The only thing I knew about them is that they were talking over a goblet of milk. How would we find them with only that? We needed help. Like, why was there a kid wearing a cowboy hat? And why did they have that fancy cup in the cafeteria anyway? I got an idea. Would you all help us find those two people? Nice job. Thanks to your help, we figured out who they were and were able to catch up with them just outside Mr. Charlie's classroom. Hey, wait up. I got a question for you two. Yeah, what? So I heard you saying you had seen a kid acting weird, complaining about his sight, eh? Yeah, we saw him. Nice guy, actually. We have band together. What else was he doing? Nothing. He wasn't doing nothing else. Just mumbling around about his eyes. Could you maybe tell me why he would have been complaining about his sight? Who do you think I am, an eye doctor or something? All I know is that he was rubbing and squinting his eyes every time he looked up at the board in class. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that too when he was staring at the hoop playing basketball. Wait, isn't it your job, detectives, to try and figure out why this fella can't see? They had a point. We don't even know how we see. We knew we needed answers, and we knew just who to go to, the optometrist. I just called and a classroom of friends. Maybe you all can help us out again. Thanks, friends. You know, we make a pretty good team. And now that I knew how we see, I also knew we needed to get back on the case. Whoa! It's wild that we see things upside down. I think understanding how the eyes work is really going to help us out. And I just had a thought. You know our friend Aloysius? Doesn't she have a class with Vinny? Maybe we should go ask her some questions. Great idea, Mateo, but how can we possibly know which class she's in right now? She could be anywhere. Yeah, we could split up. But we'd still need to narrow it down to just two options. Do any of you know which class she is in? We need your help again. Thanks for helping by narrowing it down for us. Yeah, so let's split up. I'll head to the theater room, you check out the band room. I hope we find her, because you'll see that Aloysius is probably the coolest friend we have. You should see the way she can jam on the triangle. Oh, there she is. Hey, Allie. Oh. Hey, Vicky. 
What's up? You know me, just out here saving the school, one mystery at a time. And we got a good one this time. Actually, I was thinking maybe you could help. Some props got stolen from the school play, and we think Vinny Vision is behind it. You're in band class with him, right? Do you know him at all? There's a lot of people in band, but I think I know who you're talking about. What can you tell me about him? Well, I can tell you that he is always complaining about not being able to see. When he's sitting, playing by himself, reading his music, he's amazing. He'll probably go down as one of the best recorder players this school has ever seen. But I've noticed that when he's following what's up on the board, he's a hot mess. He's always rubbing and squinting his eyes, trying to follow what the teacher's writing. Anything else you noticed? Yes, actually. He was walking by the other day, and I think I heard him say something about having lost his crown. Hmm. Okay, this is great. So why would Vinny be squinting his eyes while the band teacher was writing on the board? Um, I'm not an eye doctor. And hey, wait, aren't you supposed to be finding all the answers, detective? Right, right. So why would Vinny be good at reading music up close, but struggle to follow what the band teacher was doing across the room? While I go find Mateo, do you think you all can help me find out what this clue means? Once again, thank you, my friends. Now, I knew that Vinny is nearsighted, but I still didn't know where he is. Oh, hey, Mateo. What'd you find in the theater? Get this. I overheard four students talking about a dim di di diamond necklace. One of them said that they needed to get it back. That one must be Larry the Liar. Now, I don't know which one said it, but I did get a picture of all four of them. Check these out. This is big. Yeah. The only thing I know about Larry is that he is a liar. I'm going to need a different perspective on all of this. Maybe you all could help me find a new angle and help us figure out which one of these four is Larry the liar. Nice work. We identified which one was Larry the Liar, and they had the diamond necklace in their pocket the whole time. What do you expect from a liar? You got it all wrong. I didn't mean to steal anything. <laughs> yeah, right. He heard you saying that you needed that diamond necklace back. No, no. I needed to get the diamond necklace back to the theater department. I never meant to take it. You see, I've been having trouble seeing things lately. And what does that have to do with anything? You see, I own a really similar looking necklace myself. So during play practice, I saw the diamond necklace sitting there, but everything up close to me lately has been blurry. I've been getting lots of headaches at school lately. So I was leaving play practice early and grabbed what I thought was my necklace and went home. When I realized it wasn't mine, I got scared. See, I'm sort of known for lying. I thought no one would believe me that I didn't mean to steal it if I brought it back. So, I was trying to figure out a way to sneak it back into the theater room. That's what you overheard. Okay, okay. We, we believe, believe you. you. Really? And we'll help you do the right thing and return it, but only if you help us. You see, we're looking for Vinny Vision. Any idea where he is? Sure, he's with his favorite teacher. Going to need more than that there, Lair. Well, here's the strange thing. Detectives. This teacher looks young, but she's really an old lady. And I swear, that's all I know. Believing them, we're going to help them return that necklace. But now, we have the challenge of finding this lady ahead of us. Care to help us out again? Sure enough, Vinny's teacher did look young, but as I got closer, I noticed she really was an old lady. 
I'm afraid that Lion Larry has tricked you. Vinny isn't here, and I haven't seen him in quite some time. We should have known we couldn't trust Larry the liar. Well, what can you tell us about Vinny, ma'am? Oi! Vinny used to be such a good student, but lately he's been having some trouble. He really needs to be more careful. I kept telling him to never throw a pencil or walk around with scissors pointing up. I reminded him over and over to not look at the sun. And when he is in science class, the kid would not keep the safety glasses on. I know that both of Vinny's parents wear glasses, so I have told him to go to an eye doctor and get an eye exam, but he says he's just fine. Do you think that's why Vinny has been having trouble seeing clearly? Well, I'm not an eye doctor. And aren't you two supposed to have some of these answers, detectives? She's got a point. Let's check back in with our friends in class and see if maybe some of Vinny's problems could have come from him not being careful with his eyes. Thanks for helping us understand the importance of protecting our eyes. And why we should all get regular eye exams from an eye doctor. Selfie time. Oh, hey. I thought about something else with Vinny. He's playing an old soldier in the school play. And I've seen him walking around in the costume. For a kid, he looks pretty old. What's up with people looking young and old? This whole case is beginning to turn me upside down up for helping us finally find Vinny? Finally, we found Vinny, cleverly disguised as an old soldier. We've been missing him this whole time. In a school like ours, it's pretty easy to blend in while in any type of costume. Vinny! What? Wow, that really did make you look older. Alrighty, let's hear it. Why did you steal the tiara? I never meant to, uh, do anything. Yeah, yeah, I just stumbled into it. I've been making all kinds of mistakes like this lately. You see, we were at play practice. I was trying to follow what the director wanted me to do, but I tripped over the power cord and took out all the light. If I could have seen things better, I wouldn't have made that mistake. As I was falling, I also took out the pocket show queen. While I was reaching around on the floor to find my way, I thought I found a pair of glasses, which I was excited about, I thinking it may help me. But it was actually the pumpkin show queen's tiara. I set it on my face, but it was so dark, I didn't know that I had the tiara on instead. When the lights came on, and I noticed that I had the tiara on, I was so embarrassed and worried that people would laugh at me, so I got out of there as fast as I could. I knew I needed to return it, but I didn't know how to tell anyone how I ended up with it anyway. So, I've been trying to hide. That's a pretty strange story. Yeah, but it sounds kind of familiar. Vision problems can really make things more difficult if you don't have glasses. Plus, even if you had found a pair of glasses, you know they wouldn't have helped you, right? Glasses are specially designed to help each person in their vision disorder, which you clearly have and should have just told somebody about. Right, and to think this whole thing could have been avoided if you would have just listened to your teacher and gone to see an eye doctor once in a while. That was a pretty strange story. Vinny and Larry's uncorrected vision problems cause them all sorts of trouble. But check out these cool new glasses they have now. They're not getting into any trouble anymore, and through this whole mystery, we kind of all became friends. And we started a band, led by Vinny Vision and that smooth sounding recorder of his. We're going to drop an album soon called You Should Have Gone to the Eye Doctor. Until next time. And a one, two, three, hit it. <laughs>